Ho, ho, ho! Is I am Santa Claus. And my dear friend, Mr. Bookman, contacted me and wanted me to do a special Christmas night reading to all of you kidlets out there. So tonight, Santa's going to be reading Love Santa, written by Martha Brock and Bro, and illustrated by Lee Wright. So why don't you just kick back, relax, and enjoy. Love Santa. When Lucy was five, she wrote Santa a letter to Santa. Dear Santa, the North Pole is freezing. How do you stay warm? Love, Lucy. Well, Lucy, oh, my place is heated here in the North Pole. And that's how I stay warm. That's how Santa stays warm is I got heat up here in the North Pole. <laughs> Just like you. It was it was big enough for her to grow into uh, from Lucy. See what Lucy wrote, Santa. Dear Lucy, Mrs. Claus and I have matching red coats. They keep us toasty, love Santa. Yes, we do. Me and Mrs. Claus do got some red toasty coats that we keep warm with. When Lucy was six to Santa, she wrote Santa another letter. Well, okay. <laughs> Let's see what Lucy wrote me this time. Dear Santa, a red coat still fits. This year, please bring me an elf. I will feed him. He can make me toys. If you don't have an extra elf, I will take a bicycle instead. Do you want... Chocolate chip cookies or oatmeal ones? Oh, I love both. <laughs> I'd take any kind of cookies that you all leave me. <laughs> the oatmeal ones are healthy. Yuck, love Lucy. <laughs> well, Lucy, let me tell you. Any cookies are good for Santa. <laughs> That year, Santa bought, brought Lucy a two-wheeler. Yes, I did. I remember that one. <laughs> Dear Lucy, I'm afraid you can't spare an elf. I can't spare an elf, but I will do my best with the bicycle. Love Santa. And I do love oatmeal cookies. When Lucy was seven, she start started to write Santa a letter. Dear Santa, how do you get down all the chimneys? What happens when people live in homes without fireplaces? What does your 
Why does your handwriting look like my mom's? Why do some of my friends say you are... But Lucy couldn't finish. Instead, she left a different letter next to a plate of chocolate chip and oatmeal cookies. That year, Santa brought Lucy a sack of boot books, fancy station, st stationaries, and a splendid red hat. Then she wrote me, Dear Santa, I can pop wheelies on my bicycle and the basket is ha handy for delivering things. This year, can you bring me whatever you want? Love, Lucy. Well, I always bring different kind of things to y'all. Whatever you want, Santa tries to de deliver. When Lucy was eight, she wrote one more letter, but she did not put it in the mailbox or by the cookies. She laid it on her mom's yellow pillow instead. Dear Mom, are you Santa? Love, Lucy. Lucy, your parents are not Santa. I... I'm the real Santa Claus, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy woke before dawn, her heart thumped when she saw Santa's familiar red envelope. She opened it. Yeah, this is what I wrote, Lucy. Dear Lucy, I know you've been one wondering about this for ages. The answer is I am not Santa. There is one Santa. I am the person who fills your stockings with presents. I also choose to wrap the gifts under the tree the same way your, my parents did for me. I can imagine you will do the same someday for your own children. You, you will love watching them sit under the tree on Christmas morning. Their faces lit up by lights. But this won't make you Santa. Santa is bigger than anyone, any one person. He always has been, but this real work isn't delivering presents. Santa is a teacher who helps us believe your, all your life you will need to have faith in your family, in your friends, to yourself, even in things you can't see or touch. Here I'm talking about love, which is light your life from inside out 
even when things feel cold and dark. So no, I am not Santa. Santa is love and magic and hope and happiness. And now you know the secret of how he gets down all those chimneys on Christmas Eve. Yep, I do it because I'm magic. That's how I get into your places. Santa could do it. <laughs> yes, Santa could do it. He has helped the people whose hearts are filled with joy. I am on his team, and now you are too. Love, Mom. Lucy, Lucy felt better. Different too. Sad and happy and hope, hopeful. All at once, she found her hat and coat and went out into the world because it was Christmas morning and she had work to do. Well, I hope all of you enjoyed this story. I get so many letters like this all the time at the North Pole, kids. And, and I want to say thank you for all those kind letters. <coughs> and enjoyable ones, I always read them. They make me happy. And I hope all of you enjoyed your Christmas this year and I would happy that you received what you got and asked for and remember always be good to your parents and always be respectful because you know Santa is always watching you but again, kids, you all have yourself a wonderful and enjoyable Christmas. And I will see you next year. But until then, Merry Christmas. <laughs>